global event and slot so tomorrow is the time i'm making this video november the 19th uh the global event and slot is going to be reactivated to the game uh this global event was once activated i couldn't play on pc at uh, the time that was activated but today i'm going to show you what you need to know about this global event and what you can do to get those masks and classified gear sets hello everybody my name is mac guns let's get into this so overall what does it mean the global event on slot so the global event on slot is going to be uh, what it gonna do is when you have the modifier active you always have one of the three elements active you can have burn bleed and gas and depending on which is active you do a different kind of element damage to the npc so you can switch elements effect by reloading your weapon and the element effects are weapon specific so you can actually have different effects on each weapon so with that said onslaught is gonna have three modifiers the first modifier is always gonna be active don't doesn't matter what it's gonna be throughout the game is gonna be a modifier called onslaught which is always active it deals burn bleed and gas effect to enemies in additional to normal damage reload change the effect pretty self-explanatory you're always gonna have uh, one damage is gonna be burn bleed or gas and it's gonna do extra damage uh, compared to the normal damage that you have on your gun and you can always switch this t type of effect when you reload your weapon the second one is gonna be savage onslaught which is gonna be onslaught behavior plus enemies are vulnerable to one effect type and resist to the others agents take increased damage from resistance enemy which means when you activate the second modifier which is savage onslaught you always gonna see what, uh, the NPC with one resistant to one of the elements um, this is gonna make that NPC resistant and that NPC is gonna do a lot more damage against the agent the third one is gonna be brutal onslaught which is gonna be the first two modifiers onslaught and savage onslaught and then you're gonna have when two or more group members kill a vulnerable enemy with two seconds each member can reload to gain a damage bonus for a single clip so this global event is actually pretty uh, fun to do you always have that damage you gotta keep always on switching or reloading your weapon to get the damage that you want to do against the npc that has that damage and you gotta watch out for the npcs that have the resistance against the damage that you have on your weapon because they can do a lot more damage against you and they can resist your damage i myself when i play on this global event or mostly of all the global events i always only leave the first modifier and just go to town with my legendary solo and that's it but i can see uh, people doing this on a group and having a lot more fun doing these global events with three modifiers so now let's get into the playlist the playlist is going to be uh, a certain amount of missions that are going to be affected directly to the global event which means on these missions you can activate the three modifiers only these missions and these missions are going to be warringate power plan the police academy broadway emporium russian consulate and stolen signal so these are the missions that's going to be the playlist of the global event on slot and these missions you're going to be able to activate all the three modifiers to get a different type of play on the game so now let's get into the masks so as you see right now like i said i'm in the pc i do not have that global event uh, commendation because i never played it on pc so i don't know i do not have the masks but i know how to get the masks and i'm gonna tell you how to get the masks and once i get them on the global event maybe i'll make a video on how to get them but for now let's go through what you have to do to get the masks the first mask is gonna be omni mask the combination is gonna be called full house which is you're gonna have to burn 200 bleed 200 and gas 200 enemies during the onslaught event 
for this one i think you only have to be on world tier 5 and you know do not have to be on any of the playlist or you don't have to have set up difficulty for the mission which means you can do this on a normal difficulty on any mission the second mask is going to be amber mask it's going to be the combination kill count which is kill five enemies in a row with the effect they are vulnerable to this one too i think you only have to be on world tier 5 and maybe you have to be on the hard difficulty and this one is actually easy to do i think because you only have to pay attention to what the enemy is vulnerable to and reload the gun until you have that uh, effect and then kill the enemy and keep doing that on five times in a row with the enemies the third one is going to be smiler mask which is never enough complete all events in onslaught playlist so this one um, is basically complete every single mission that I showed you is going to be affected on the Onslaught Global Event which is the playlist and I got uh, some information that the stolen signal you don't have to do it anymore because I think the developers found that stolen signal because it's a DLC mission is not fair for the people who doesn't have the DLC and not get this mask so that for that reason once the onslaught goes active all of us is gonna have automatically that check on stall signal for this uh, mission so now to finish all of these uh let's get into what gear set that we're gonna be able to get in this global event especially for me i'm on pc now and i still need a lot of gear set to complete all my builds um so the first one is gonna be firecrest classified which i don't have almost no piece in my pc the second one is going to be lone star which i need one more piece to complete my builds the third one is going to be the classified predators mark which is one of the haters all love it um, gear set in the game on pvp side of things uh, anyways you're going to be able to get on this global event and the fourth one is going to be classified reclaimers for all the healers out there uh, it's a really nice uh classified uh, gear but for me i actually never played as a healer so i'm not gonna be able to really do a build with it or maybe i'm not really gonna pay attention to get the pieces for it but for you healers out there i hope you guys get it and complete your builds now to get these classified gear sets or to buy the caches to open this and get the classified gear sets you need to do missions and there's some different tips out there different missions that people show to get these these global events to tokens faster i myself i have a video on my channel showing the what mission that i do to get these global events tokens faster but um if you need help again with that let me know in the comment section below and i can make a video on different ways of getting these tokens faster so that's it for me guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope i help you guys out if you guys have any question leave them down in the comment section below if you enjoyed the video hit that like it actually helps me a lot and i hope you guys have a great rest of the day see you guys in the next one peace